We begin tonight with breaking news. A horrific crash kills a child and a young woman. FHP says the driver of this vehicle here was under the influence. Thanks for watching the Night Beat. I'm Russ McCaskey. Now this car slammed into the physical therapy center of Immokalee just after 10 a.m. A tiny car seat lays on the ground. See it there in the circle as troopers investigate the scene. The Night Beat's Jillian Haggard, he tells us about who was in that car. What we do know is a 20 year old woman and a 13 year old boy were killed in this crash, along with several other people who had to be taken to the hospital. Now the driver behind this is 24 year old Walter Nelson, who's being charged with DUI manslaughter, amongst other things. And if you actually take a look, you can still see the tire marks from this car before it inevitably smashed into this building. Now this is what the scene looked like Friday morning. A red SUV collided with two other cars before it slammed into the physical therapy center of Immokalee. Two other people inside the building were taken to the hospital with serious injuries, and I spoke with the Immokalee Fire and Rescue Battalion Chief James Idle about what they saw when they arrived on scene. We secured the vehicle and its hazards. Our crews extricated several patients from the vehicle and transferred care to EMS. And if you take a look behind me, you can still see this building is boarded up and it's going to be closed in the meantime. But Nelson is now in the process of being booked at the Collier County Jail and any new information we receive will keep you guys updated on the night beat. Jillian Haggerty, Wink News.